Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro, also known as Vayu and Pima. Now, Oxygen OS ports have been a thing since a very long time, especially since the Poco F1, the K20 Pro, and now the Poco X3 Pro is also getting into the vibe. Now, what we're talking about today is something different. We are talking about Hydrogen OS or H2OS. H2OS is basically the China counterpart of Oxygen OS, wherein you don't get Google Play services. So in today's video, we're going to see how to install H2OS on this particular device. Then we will go ahead and see how to pass the safety net. And then we will go ahead and see how to fix the contacts issue the contacts sync issue as well so all in all by the end of this video you will have a poco x3 pro which will have play store installed safety net passing and you will have everything working as expected so before we get into the flashing instructions if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kailash let's get going All right, so let's see what do we have here. Brand OnePlus, model OnePlus 8T, Android version 11, Hydrogen OS stable 11.0.11.11. .11 Build date is the 9th of October 2021, and it does come with the August security patch. Now the change log says shifted to a new vendor now, not OSS. Custom kernel not supported from now. Fixed auto brightness issues, fixed dark mode brightness issue, fixed thermal profiles, smoothness, well try yourself. Do not install G apps, install only Play Store. Bugs, NFC, lock screen wallpaper will be the same as home screen. That's the only bug that they have, right? Now, there are a few things that you need to take care of before you flash each and every ROM. You need to make sure that you have more than 50% battery. You need to make sure that all your data is backed up because everything will be wiped. You also need to ensure that you have unlocked bootloader with a TWRP recovery installed. So that is important as well. And last but not the least, you will need the ROM file. You will of course need the Play Store APK and you will need the Majisk APK. So first, let's go ahead and flash the ROM and then we will follow the remaining steps. Now to flash the ROM, you need to press and hold volume up and power to enter TWRP recovery. All right, now go to wipe, advanced, Dalvik data cache and my files are in this pen drive so I'm wiping internal storage as well if your files are on the internal storage don't wipe if you've downloaded the ROM directly to the phone it will be in the download folder now go to install select storage h2os port select this swipe to confirm flash now this flash will take anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute and it is important that you have a decrypted storage that is the reason uh, you need to remove all your lock screen passwords and everything before flashing this ROM. So yes, you need to ensure that you've removed your password, your fingerprint scanner, and you've removed your Google account, MI account. So if you have anything of those, I always say this in all of my flash videos that you have to remove your lock screen and passwords. Let's wait for the flash to complete. All right, now as you can see over here, the ROM has been flashed. There are these errors. You can go ahead and ignore them. Go to the main screen, go to wipe, select format data and type in yes okay now reboot system now the first boot will take anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute so please be patient while that happens all right now just like that you are on the setup screen of h2s of course it is chinese so you need to change this to english start agree agree okay okay skip Okay, let's connect to Wi-Fi here. All right, so we are on the home screen of H2OS, but our job is not done yet. We still have to actually go ahead and install the Play Store. And we also have to make sure that we have Play Store certification that is safety net passing. And we need to make sure that our contacts are syncing as well. So these are three steps that we'll have to do after installing the ROM. So the first thing that we will do is we will flash Majisk. And to do that, we need to go to TWRP again. All right, so the first thing that we will do is we will install the Play Store APK. So if you see over here, it says, it will over here say device not certified, right? So we need to go ahead and flash Majisk. Now, right now, Majisk is in, you know, flashed, the, like the app is installed, but the root access is not installed. 
for which we will go to restart press and hold volume up and power all right now once you've booted into twrp go to install locate your magisk apk and install it to get root access once magisk is installed go to reboot system all right now as you can see we have booted into the rom again and let's have a look at magisk over here you do have root access right now if you have a look at the play store so if you've not signed in over here, remember this is very important. It says device is not certified, right? So let's close all the applications over here. Let's go to Majisk. Okay. Let's go to Majisk settings. Enable Majisk hide. Go back. Go to this menu here. Select this arrow. And look for Google Play services also look for google play store right so you've hidden this for google play services for some reason i'm not able to see google play store over here but if you see google play store tick over here right now go back go back keep going back press and hold here go to app info go to storage clear storage for this go back here now go to settings over here Go to apps and notifications, show all apps and locate Google Play services, storage, clear storage for this and select clear all data, hit OK and now reboot the device once. Now remember the sequence that we are following in this particular video is very very important, right? Now, once we have rebooted, what you need to do is you need to add your Google account to the Play Store. So I'll quickly go ahead and do that. Now, as you can see over here, device is certified. So this will ideally give you access to everything. But there is one more problem. If you actually go to your contacts, you will see that there are no contacts, right? So what you need to do then is you need to go to settings. Once again, you need to go to apps and notifications and see all apps, right? So go to Google Play services, permissions, and give it access to call logs, contacts, and also give it storage permission, right? Now go back and go to look for an app called contacts sync, right? As you can see, there is Google contacts sync over here. Go to permission, contacts, allow, right? Allow contacts sync. Now close everything over here. Clear all. Let's go here. There you go. The contacts are there, right? So this is a step-by-step -step detailed guide to install H2OS on your Poco X3 Pro. Now we have Play Store certification, safety net working. We also have the contact sync working and you can install a you know camera application of your choice and you should be good to go. I will be doing a complete review by this weekend for this particular ROM and hopefully there will be a gaming review coming soon as well. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.